dear learner we are discussing about the c token the c token are basic building blocks of a c programming c token involve keywords identifier constant strings special symbols and operator in this lecture we have to see what is the constant so constant a constant in a c is a fixed value which does not change during execution of a program so it is a fixed value c constant is a fixed value which does not change during execution of a program they are also called as uh, literals constant may be belonging to any of the data type it may be from integer it may be from real or floating point constant or it may be from characters so the syntax of the c constant first constant data type that is integer floats character or a string then types of a variable name then there are uh, different types of a c constant first is a numeric constant and second is a character constant in a numeric constant there are uh, two types first is a integer constant and second is real or floating point constant in a integer constant there are again three type first is a decimal second is octal integer constant and third is hexadecimal constant in a real or a floating point constant there is a fractional value or it is in form of a exponential form in a character constant there are three types first is a single character constant second is a string constant and third is a backslash character constant so what is a c constant c constant is a fixed value that does not change during execution of a program okay now we have to see what is, what what is this numeric constant in a numeric uh, constant first is a integer constant an integer constant is a sequence of a digit it may be zero to any digit okay depending on the size okay depending on the compiler it may be of a 8 bit compiler it may be of a 16 bit compiler then 32 bit compiler and 64 bit compiler so an integer constant is a sequence of a digit now there are rules to construct the integer constant first rule an integer constant must have at least one digit okay an integer constant at least have one digit second rule is it must not have a decimal point if there is a decimal point then it is real or a floating point constant so in integer there it must not have decimal point third rule it can be either positive or negative the integer constant either positive or negative fourth rule if no sign uh, proceeds an integer constant it is assumed to be positive fifth rule no comma or blank space are allowed with in an integer constant six rule the allowed range for integer constant is minus 
768 to 32767 this is for 16 bit compiler it is a different for 8 bit compiler 32 bit compi compiler and 64 bit compiler okay now we have to see what is the decimal constant so some there are some valid example of a decimal integer constants are first example is 3543 this is decimal integer constant this is a valid because there is a no blank space there is a no comma okay it may be either it is it is a positive next is a minus minus uh 89022 it is it is integer constant we know that the negative sign is also allowed it third example only zero the our our first rule is and an integer constant must have at least one digit zero is also one of the digit so it is valid example fourth example plus 58 this is also valid fifth example minus 332 this is also valid integer constant decimal integer constant now in valid example of a decimal integer constants are 23 comma 487 why this is invalid because comma is not allowed okay second example dollar sign 550 why invalid because dollar sign or any special symbols it is not allowed third example is 3 blank space 333 why it is invalid because blank space is not allowed it so this is related to decimal integer constant integer constant is a sequence of a digit sequence of a digit integer constant must have at least one digit it must not have decimal point. it can be either positive or negative if no sign proceed an integer constant it is assumed to be positive no comma or blank space are allowed within an integer constant then the allowed range for integer constant is minus 32768 32767 for 16 bit compiler then valid examples of a decimal integer constant and invalid example of a decimal integer constant now we have to see next octal integer constant okay an octal constant is a combination of a digit from 0 to 7 we know that the octal number is a combination of digit from 0 to 7 okay with leading zero okay valid example of octal integer constant are 0 44 why valid because it is it is there is a leading zero and 44 this is in a octal number Zero. Second example. Zero five five seven. This is also valid, okay? Because it is combination of a digit from zero to seven. Then third example is a simply zero. This is also valid example of of a octal integer constant. Now invalid example of a octal integer constant. First zero five five eight. Why this is invalid? Because Eight is greater than seven, which is not allowed. Second example, forty-six. Why this is invalid? Because because uh, 
the 46 is not leading with a 0. Okay. Third example, 0, 3, 4, blank space, 5. Why it is invalid? Because blank space is not allowed. Then fourth example is x7. Why this is invalid? Because x, such type of a character, is not allowed. Now, we have to see hexadecimal integer. A, a sequence of a digit or alphabet proceed by capital O, small x or capital O, capital X is hexadecimal integer. It can also include a digit 1 to 9 and alphabet from capital F A to capital F. Okay. Or A to small f. The letter A to f represent the number from 10 to 50. Because when uh, we have to write the hexadecimal number, it is it is 1 or starting from 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Then a 10 means a b 11 means b c d e f okay so we can represent like this hexadecimal so it base is a 16 1 to 9 and and a to f total 16 okay valid examples of a hexadecimal integer constants are O x four five zero. Okay, why this is valid? Because it is proceed by O x. Okay, then second O x a three four three. O x it is it is the sequence of digit is a proceed by O x. Okay, there is a, a. Okay, so which is allowed it. Then simply OX is also valid. Then fourth OXCDA. This is also valid. Okay. So OXCDE which is which is uh, which consists of a letter from A to uh, F. From A to F C D A. This these letter are uh, in between A to F. So all these are valid. Next, uh, invalid example of a hexadecimal integer constant. OX949H. This is invalid because H, this letter is not allowed. Then, second example, X43. We know that hexadecimal, hexadecimal integer is proceed by OX, but here is only X. So, it is not allowed. Now, third example, OX blank space 43. Blank space is not allowed. Then, third example, OX 3%. This percent, percentage is a special symbol which is not allowed while writing integer. And uh, uh, hexadecimal is one of the integer constant. Now, next is a, a real constant. Real constant are often called floating point constant, which consists of a decimal point. The real constant should be written in a two form, that is fractional form and exponential form. Okay. Real constant are floating point constant real constant or we can say that floating point constant which consists of a decimal point. So depending on there are two forms. First is a fractional form and second is a exponential form. So first fractional form. So, uh, there are some rules while writing real constant. First rule 
real constant must must have at least one digit second rule it must have a decimal point third rule it could be either positive or negative real constant uh, could be either positive or negative fourth rule default sign is a positive if there is no sign then it is considered as a positive fifth rule no comma or a blank space are allowed within the real constant so valid example first minus 0.987 this is valid because negative it uh, real constant could be either positive or negative so it is allowed decimal point is there so it is allowed okay second example 35.89 it is valid because there is a decimal point so which is allowed third 1000.54 Three four allowed it. Why? Because decimal point is there. Fourth plus four five six point nine three two allowed it because there is a decimal point and plus sign is also allowed it. It could be either positive or negative. Invalid example of a real constant. Real constant R first minus. One two six seven. Why it is invalid? Because there is no decimal. Second example, O X thirty five. Why this is invalid? Because there is no decimal point as well as O X is not allowed. It. Okay. Third example, thirteen point six blank space seventy eight. Why it is invalid? Because blank space is not allowed. It. Fourth example. Minus fifty six point nine comma eight. Why it is invalid? Because comma or any special symbol is not allowed. Okay, so this is a fractional form. Okay, fractional form. It consists of a decimal point. A real constant must have at least one digit. it must have decimal point it could be either positive or negative if there is no sign default sign is positive no comma or blank space are allowed within the real constant okay now we have to see what is the exponential form exponential form of a representation of a real constant is usually Use if the value of a constant is either too small or too large. If the value is too small or too large, then it is represent in exponential form. It, however, doesn't restrict us in any way from using exponential form of a representation for. other real constant in exponential form of representation the real constant is represented in a two part the part appearing before e e means exponential form okay the part appearing before e is called mantissa where part following e is called exponent part appearing before e is a mantissa and part following e is called exponent following rules must be observed while constructing real constant expressed in exponential form okay the first rule mantissa part and exponential part should be separated by letter e this is very important while writing exponential form it must be consist of letter e and the mantissa part and exponential part should be separated by letter e second rule the mantissa part may be positive or negative 
okay default sign of mantissa part is a positive if there is a no sign it indicate that it the mantissa is a positive mantissa is before a part before e and the exponent exponent is after e fourth rule the exponent must have at least one digit which must be positive or negative okay exponent exponent must have at least one digit which must be positive or negative default sign is a positive if there is a no sign in exponent it it indicate that the sign is a positive then sixth rule real range of a real constant express in exponential form is minus 3.4 e raised to 38 to 3.4 e raised to 38 this is a range of the exponential form so now some valid example of exponential constant first is a plus 3.2 e raised to minus 5 what it indicate 3.2 into 10 raised to minus 5 okay 3.2 is a mantissa and minus 5 is a exponent okay okay so mantissa and exponent are separated by e so this is a valid okay second example 4.1 e raised to 8 okay it indicate 4.1 uh, into 10 raised to 8 so there is an exponent okay and mantissa 4.1 which is separated by e so this is valid minus 0 0.2 e raised to plus 3 okay mantissa is minus 0 0.2 and the exponent is a plus 3 okay fourth example is minus 3.2 e raised to minus 5 now the mantissa having a negative sign and then the exponent also have a negative sign okay so all these are the valid example of exponential constant now invalid example of a exponential constant r plus 42 e raised to minus 5 why this invalid because it does not consist of a decimal point okay second example 86.42 okay why this in, it is invalid because it does not consist of a letter e okay letter e third example minus 0 0.2 e raised to plus 3 this is also invalid no no, no. extremely sorry this is a valid example okay and the fourth example is also a valid example okay a 3.4 e raised to e raised to 52 this is also valid and third example is a uh, also valid this is the printing mistake okay typing mistake now we have to see character constant so single character constant single character constant rules of constructing character constant first rule a character constant is a single alphabet a single digit or single special symbol enclosed within single inverted comma a character constant is single alphabet or single digit or a single special symbol enclosed within single inverted comma the both inverted comma should be point to the left side okay the single single uh, inverted comma okay but uh, both side have uh, that that both inverted comma should be point to the left for example a capital a in inverted comma is a valid character constant where in inverted comma a is invalid why it is invalid first is uh, a in inverted comma because both the inverted comma comma should be point to the left it is valid 
in second case in second case the capital a first inverted comma is toward the right and the second inverted comma is toward the left so it is invalid okay now the maximum length of character constant can be one character the length of the character constant can be one character it must be one character okay valid example of single character constant capital a inverted comma both the inverted comma uh, a point to the left then capital a in inverted comma five in inverted comma four, uh, equal to sign is in inverted comma all these are the valid example okay invalid example of a single character constant pa double inverted comma pa two character not allowed it double inverted comma not allowed it. small z second example small z in double inverted comma double inverted comma is not allowed it. third example 98 in double inverted comma okay 98 it it is a two two digit which is not allowed it and again double inverted comma is not allowed it. so what is the uh, single character constant single character constant is single alphabet single digit single special symbol enclosed with single inverted commas and the both inverted commas should be point to the left okay so this is related to single character constant now we have to see string constant very simple a string constant is a sequence of a character enclosed in a double quotes or a double inverted comma uh, it may be consist of a string constant may be consist of a, a sequence of alphabet sequence of digit or sequence of a special symbol only it is enclosed in a double inverted comma the character may be letter digit special character as well as a blank space okay first example good morning okay good morning this is a string okay which consists of a sequence of character and enclosed in a double inverted comma so which is allowed it second example 3456 which is enclosed in a double inverted comma so it consists of a digit okay four digit which is enclosed in a double inverted comma which is allowed it now see uh, in the character constant third type is a backslash character constant okay c support some special backslash character constant which are used in output function when we have to write the output function that is a printf function printf function then we use backslash with some character okay and this have some meaning okay some of this backslash character constant are given below note that each one of them represent one character and these are backslash and one character it is enclosed in single inverted comma now first example backslash a enclosed in a single inverted comma it indicate that audible alert that is bell backslash b with single inverted cam comma indicate blank space then backslash f with single inverted comma it indicate form feed backslash n with single inverted comma new line backslash r with single inverted comma cartridge return backslash t with single inverted comma it indicate horizontal tab backslash v with single inverted comma it indicate vertical tab backslash question mark it with single inverted comma it it indicate question mark 
backslash to backslash with single in inverted comma it indicate backslash okay backslash zero with single in inverted comma it indicate null okay so this is related to constant so again we revise all these things what is the constant the constant is a fixed value which is does not change during execution of a program there are a different types of different types of a constant first is a numeric constant and second is a character constant in a numeric constant then there are again two type first is the integer constant and second is a real or a floating point constant okay in a integer constant there are again three type first is a decimal integer constant second is a octal integer constant and third is a hexadecimal integer constant in a real or a floating point uh, constant okay real or floating point constant can be represent in a two form first is a fractional form and second is a exponential form okay then the character constant in character constant there are three types first is a single character constant second is a string constant and third is a backslash character constant so these all related to constant thank you